Hello everyone, today I wanted to talk to you about how you can calculate the square footage for your basement finish. This is going to be useful if you have an unfinished basement that you're looking to get done. You're in the preliminary stages and just trying to get some rough ballpark figures on how much space you have down there that's going to be needing to get done and looking to get some preliminary pricing. So we have a cost calculator on our website where you can actually input the rough square footage that you figured onto our website and it will actually generate a rough cost based on a few different factors you can put in there and uh, it will generate a cost for you. So I wanted to show you how to actually calculate the square footage of your basement space to then put in there. So I'll share some share my screen and show you some slides that I have that illustrate this. Okay, so when you start, you're gonna start by putting the, drawing the sketch of the exterior walls of the basement. You might have some interior partition walls that are framed or set up for the stairs or other load bearing walls that, it, that are already built. For calculating the square footage, we're gonna to need to ignore anything that's already there as far as partition walls or structural framing walls and calculate around those. So. We're going to just ignore them, start with a clean, fresh slate, and just sketch out the exterior walls of the basement. So what we'll need to do is think of the basement in rectangles, because it's probably the case that you don't have just a straight square or one plain rectangle in your basement. You probably have several pop-outs and jogs in the walls and different things going on. So we'll partition this off in imaginary little uh, rectangles that we can calculate the square footage of each one individually and then total those up at the end. So we'll just run through this. Well, I put one here and then another one on this next corner and then another one on that last corner. And then just a little bit for that little baby bump out there we have on the bottom. So this first area is what we're going to calculate first. Measure those two, a five by 10. That leaves us a 50 square foot area. So we'll, we'll total that up on the side. So we'll put 50 square feet over there. The next area is a 30 by 20. That gives us 600 square feet. So we'll put that off to the side, 600 square feet. Then the little thing on the bottom is a five by two. Measure the, the both directions. And then that gives us 10 square feet. So we'll put that off to the side as well. The next area is a 40 by 20. And there's a lot of ways you can measure that just by measuring inside or kind of calculating off the exterior walls on different measurements, but anyway, that gives us a 800 square foot area. And then the last one is a five by 20. And so that gives us a 100 square foot area. So when we total all these up, we get 1,560 square feet of total area in the basement. So that would, what you need to calculate is including the stairs and any areas that are going to be finished. If you have a under the porch area, cold storage, typically you don't need to finish those or um, calculate those into this square footage calculation that we put in the basement finishing cost calculator on our website. So that's how you go about calculating how much space you have down there in order to get those rough figures calculated and be able to get rough pricing going for your projects, you know, what that's probably gonna cost. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you would like to download our cost calculator, it's available on our website, it's free. And uh, I hope that you enjoy it and that it can help you get some idea of what it would cost to finish your basement based on the size, based on a few different factors like kitchens, bathrooms, basement walkout entries. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us on our website, request a consultation. We'd love to hear from you. And until later, We'll talk to you soon. Bye.